Coronavirus fears continue to shake the U.S. financial markets. Stocks were hit hard again today with all of the major indexes falling nearly 8%. News 8, Steve Price is here with more on what caused the sell-off. Steve. Yeah, Carl, Carl and Barbara Lee, experts say that several things combined leading to today's sell-off, and that's really the problem, and it also means that a rebound is probably going to take a while. Walloped on Wall Street. Stocks fell more than 2,000 points Monday. The, I think the biggest concern I have for clients is I call it the deer in the headlights. Everybody right now is panicked. David Reyes is a registered investment advisor with more than 20 years of experience. His advice, stop, breathe, and reevaluate your investments. If I couldn't handle this kind of, of downturn, which is severe, nobody really can psychologically, it's a good time to, to reevaluate the portfolio and also reallocate potentially. As for why this is happening, well, it's several things. Coronavirus concerns, an economic downturn, and Russia and Saudi Arabia fighting over oil. Both countries overproducing, causing too much supply for the demand. Two superpowers, the largest, most powerful commodity, going at each other in a tit-for-tat type fashion. That sort of sent everything, you know, into a spiral, kind of like a perfect storm. With so many negatives happening at once, experts say the stock market won't rebound overnight. In fact, it could get even worse before it gets better. Because a lot of people are concerned about, well, David, you know, I want to get back my money I lost. That's the wrong attitude because we don't know where the bottom is. David's advice, it depends where you are in life. If you're close to retirement, this is not the time for risk. So unfortunately, most, uh, most investors, retirees even, are way too aggressive. You know, they think they're conservative, want to be conservative. Um, but they're not. For young investors, this is a buying opportunity. Keep contributing as much as you can to your retirement accounts. You don't panic at that time because, you're, again, you're buying low. You're dollar cost averaging back in. I wouldn't flip out. And the good news with oil prices dropping is that our gas prices should come down, but there's a downside. You see, too much oil is also a sign that the economy isn't using as much, and long term, that is definitely a problem. Arbor Lee and Carlo? All right, Steve, thank you.